everybody, Tim and Miranda here. Doctor Who story 237, The Snowmen. The Snowmen. After this, we only got 10 more episodes of Matt Smith, and then we're done. That's kind of sad. So we're in the final countdown. Like, I think I'm more sad about Matt Smith being gone than Amy and Rory. Wow. I know. I'm going to just watch the rest of it by myself. It's cool. No, you won't. Um, a lot of returning characters. <clears throat> um, first of all, Richard E. Grant plays like the main antagonist character in this who previously previously voiced the doctor in the scream of shaka shalaka whatever the fuck it is uh back in like 2003 or something it's an animated special of doctor oh, who okay. um it's not bad actually it was one of those like let's reboot the franchise but it didn't pick up one of the ones i watched with you uh, you I watched like fuck this. it was like eight episodes and you watched like the last one yeah okay, okay. um but so it was kind of and it also had uh david Tennant in it yeah so yeah. um but yeah so richard e grant is the main voice of the doctor it's the same one where the master is voiced by the same guy who voices the older the, the war master when he's oh older. yeah okay um uh Derek Jacobi and so, but he's like an android is weird I don't remember but names. yeah it doesn't matter um so he's in this which is great Ian McKellen who is a fantastic actor it's like Magneto all sorts <laughs> of characters he's everything so they never say it in this but in the credits he's listed as the great intelligence the great intelligence is a character that started back with the second doctor and the abominable snowman and stuff like that so it was just kind of weird that like it didn't need to be him, but whatever. And then, of course, the return of Vastra, Jenny, and Strax. I'm a lizard woman from the dawn of time, and this is my wife. That's great. I love them. Like, they need to be a companion for a couple episodes. I would say <clears throat> they kind of are. I mean, kind of. But unless I'm, like, I'm sure. Forgetting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know for me, I'm I'm on both sides. Like I love Vastra and Jenny, but at the same time, I think they're more accepted because they're lesbians. Whereas, like if it was like a lizard man and his boyfriend, like his twink boyfriend or something, I don't think it would have been as accepted. But I would watch that. Yeah, I mean you would. I know. <laughs> but um, so I'm I'm on both sides of the fence. Where I was like, uh, are they? They're they're just lesbians. I so think that's it would why. be better if it was like a skinny lizard and like a super like masculine oh. bear boyfriend. <laughs> that would be you. That would that be would even, even better. better. <laughs> what it but, is? Okay. Yeah, but at the same point, like it's I I don't think I it's debatable. Like okay. people accept lesbians more than they do gay men. But here's the thing, especially like with them and stuff, they don't show any affection towards each other in any of the episodes I've seen with them. Which, that's so, that's a sign of marriage. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, go on. Anyways. <laughs> and so it's just, like, it's, and I'm sure it's potato. more towards the, because she's a lizard lady, and, like, the way that, like, when you see them in the episodes and stuff, like, they're very... She's clearly the one in charge. What's the word? I guess so, yeah. But, uh can't think of the word english is hard you guys it is. Um, when you've been drinking when she has not been I'm, no i just hella tired i but, just like their pet uh potato. yeah and then their pet potato tracks what was the line about the grenade oh that you fucking died <laughs> he just like he like because the doctor i want to say he like asked for help and he's like oh do you want a grenade what no, no. like oh. and then when he comes back he's like i brought grenades and he's like <laughs> Why? <laughs> Vastra said that you needed help. <laughs> and he brought a fucking more grenades. Like, bitch, what the... Why? Grenades help. Yeah. Apparently grenades help. And then when he loses his memory for a couple of oh, seconds... Oh, God, that was a good one. And that he's was. laying on the ground. Help, I'm being run over my <laughs> carriage! <laughs> that was, that no, was a good one. Are these, are these the gloves? I'm being run over my carriage. Bro, no. <laughs> like, Which I love where Clara just starts laughing. And the doctor's like, what are you laughing at? And she's just like, I know what's about to happen. And it's funny. <laughs> and sure enough, that's when Strax is like, help! Yeah. It's uh, just really amusing. Like, he's funny during this whole episode. Uh, we get to see the new TARDIS. Yeah, it's I like really it. fancy. I, yeah, I, I, I really liked it. Yeah. It's very well, metallic. Cause, is that yeah, because yeah. this one came with a new um, starting... Uh, 
the just beginning so the, hard. the intro oh the intro, intro thank you which the intro was kind of interesting because like you said it's a brand new intro yeah and during the intro you get a, a quick glimpse of matt smith's face i did not see that like it, it's kind of in the clouds but it's just i was just paying attention to the red pretty lights yeah <laughs> uh, which going back to like the original series that was a popular thing like from like but, like silhouettes in the mm -hmm, intro. to put their their faces in the intro gotcha, gotcha. and so uh, i thought that was kind of interesting i i like that maybe it's like a homage to mm -hmm. oh i'm sure 100 mm -hmm. percent. but uh, yeah new fancy tardis and then super upgraded clara gets a key to the tardis in the first appearance like super quick which, I mean, it took Donna a while. It even took Rose. Like, I don't think Rose got it in her first episode. She did either. Like, she got a cell phone in the second episode. Yeah. So, I think the, the key was a couple episodes mm -hmm. in. And then Martha got a key. Yeah. All the women get keys. But I think he was... I don't remember if this was a line or not, but the... If you know, you know. Like, kind of thing. Oh, Like, yeah. he knows that, hey, this is going to be a companion, so... Mm -hmm. And then she go. died! <laughs> We're not even going to waste time with this yep. and then she died so he yeah. didn't actually know but then he goes on this little thing about souffles and so now i mean i know because i've seen all these episodes although it's i mean i know because it's been a minute so i it's honestly a good to rewatch because i don't remember all the connections mm -hmm. but we know that this clara is connected to oswin osgood mm -hmm. from the dalek the asylum of the daleks episode yeah. how are they connected we don't know yet like I said, we got ten episodes to kind of figure it out. So, but he can obviously recognize her voice. He just mm -hmm. and he states that at the end of the episode too, because he's like freaking out. Because now she has died twice, yeah. but he's sure he can go find her. And Vastra and Jenny are like, "What the fuck are you doing? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? She is dead." I would love Doctor. just she is dead in the ground. Like you said, you want them like as a companion. I would watch a whole spinoff TV show, like if the three of them had their own show of just fucking living shit in up. a house. Yeah, just live like yeah, just living in a like a sitcom. Living together, I would, funny. I'd love it. Yeah, I'd be down be for it. Um. Okay. Any any thoughts for, like, it's a drastic like change, mm -hmm. like a big mood change. Yeah. Like I said, going from the last episode, the the Daleks or the the Angels Take Manhattan to the Snowmen, it felt like a season change. It did. No, it did. Like a hundred. Like it feels like we're like a different mood, a different everything. Yeah. So, but it's not. We're in the same it's season. The same. Um. So, any thoughts for from here to the next ten episodes? No, like think? I've said before, like I'm just excited to see new ones that I haven't seen, and I feel like I've seen maybe one or two more of okay. like the next ones coming up. Um. That I briefly remember because, the other thing is like i mean but i also don't both of us are on social media a lot yeah so i mean i know like certain aspects and stuff just because of spoilers and mm -hmm. everything but it's not anything to like a hundred percent be like oh yeah this episode is this mm -hmm. kind of thing so. so it'll be interesting to see where we get to that exact moment yeah, where you're yeah. like oh yep this is it i've never seen this before yeah for sure for sure anything else no that's it no. okay so for those who have seen it, go ahead, let us know what you think about the return, I guess, of Richard E. Grant, Ian McKellen, who again, I absolutely adore, he's such a good actor, and the return of the Great Intelligence. Like I said, I don't think he's it's the return, because they never say he's the Great Intelligence. No. Like, so if you don't know who he is, like, it doesn't do anything. What do you think of Vastra, Jenny, and Strax? What do you think of the new TARDIS? What do you think of... Clara, what do you think of all of it? Go ahead, let us know so we can discuss it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We'll see you guys next time for the final 10 countdown, The Bells of St. John.